it's Irene from Rainy Rocks. I thought I'd make another coaster video just because there's so much fun to make. So this one is going to be called Sapphire Dream and I'm using Amsterdam Prussian Blue. I have Tester's Metallic Blue enamel paint. A crystal resin white pearl some blue and white glitter and of course um, just for you online you yes just for you online UK um, ignition dust and I have some acrylic small acrylic diamonds and I have put some of the blue glitter into a cup and here I have some crushed glass and I'm going to add my glitter to the crushed glass with a little bit of resin and um, just make sure that it's not too runny. And then I have in my acrylic diamonds, I'm going to add the white um, glitter and again add some resin and make sure that it's not too runny as well. And of course we have resin ready to go for this uh, coaster mold I've used 200 mil and this is the um, testers metallic blue paint enamel paint mixed up and the Prussian blue with my with a little bit of rebel uh, excuse me with the uh, ignition dust mixed into it just to add a little bit more glam and of course the pearl white and that mica and that's uh there's nothing else added to that okay so we'll begin and i'm just going to speed this process up so sit back and enjoy So here I'm just making sure that the acrylic diamonds mixture is dispersed evenly and um, it's somewhat flush to the mold. You don't want them stick, I, at least I don't want them sticking out too much. Now I have the Prussian blue acrylic paint. And it looks like I got a little piece of something stuck to the mold, but now that's gone. And we're going to just take the, the blue and drizzle, drizzle it <laughs> around the parameter of the mold. And I'm just, I, and I'm actually using the entire cup and it's not a lot actually it's just a little bit that I mix because I knew that I only needed just enough for the edging Okay, so now we're going to take the pearly white mica and 
drizzle a thin line around Prussian blue. And now we're going to take the metallic blue and drizzle that. So here I'm taking some of the clear and adding it um, to the center to create a barrier, somewhat of a barrier. And then we'll just continue with the colors. So here again, I'm adding the <clears throat> white. Now we'll just add a little bit more of the um, clear resin just to push out the colors a bit. And you guys can do as many layers as you want. Here I'm just finishing up the, I've used up the remainder of the metallic blue and now using up the remainder of the white mica. Okay, and now we're gonna add our glass. And you'll see I ran out, but that's okay because I have some on hand. So we'll just quickly mix up some more. I think I spend more time prepping than actually making my uh, whatever piece I'm making. Because for me, preparation is key. And we'll just spread that out evenly. So it's I made um, I made sure to use the smallest pieces of glass that I had, um, just so that they weren't sticking out too. And now we're just going to take the remainder of the resin and f flood the. <clears throat> and flood it a little bit to push out the colors. And of course, to fill up the mold. Oh, I just wanted to let you guys know that at the end of this video, I have posted a picture of my uh, geode-inspired mirror that I had uh, shown you guys um, in my Borax Crystals video. Um, yes, I'm totally in love. Tell me what you guys think of that. Okay, so there we have it. 
Let's give this um, a torch. And then we'll just have to wait and see how this uh, how these turn out when it's when they're all dry. Okay, so here we are. It's the following day, and my toasters have dried, and I think they're pretty cool. I really like the um, effects that the white pearl mica has created on top. So. Either side of these will be good, but let's find out what they look like from on the underside. Ready? And here it is. I think I'm going to call these ones Sapphire Dream. Just like my turquoise dream uh, video, these will be the Sapphire Dream video. Aren't they pretty? We'll do the next one. I really love these. Tell me what you guys think. And I'm going to trim these in silver. Next time I make some of the, uh, a set like this, the only thing that, that I might do different is actually add some uh, white pigment to the mica, and that'll keep make it uh, make the white a little bit more pronounced and not spread out as much. But I actually do like the effect that, uh, especially up here, I just love that. And there we are. I'll bring it up closer again for you guys. Awesome. Okay, thank you all for watching. I would like to thank all my subscribers for your love and support on my channel. Please like, share, like my video. All right guys, have a great night. Bye now.